So on today's How To Office 365, we're going to be showing everyone how to manage your team. What you're doing is you are turning off the features that may cause your team to spiral out of control. So if you are starting with a new team and you don't want people just creating new channels or adding apps that don't belong there or you want to start off slow, uh, this would be a video to pay attention to. We're going to go to downtown Winter Haven and we're going to show you how to manage your team. So what you want to do is find a team that you're an owner of because this won't work if you're not the owner of a team. And then you'll click on the ellipses here and then you'll go down to the settings. It's really hot out here. Can we go back inside? Uh, so uh, it, it is, by the way, a little fun uh, uh, tip for everyone out there. Uh, don't record outside in the middle of a Florida summer because it's way too hot. Way too hot. So you have your team created and you've added all the people that you want to add. Now you want to manage how your team operates. So you go to the manage team gear, you click on settings. And then you can do things like edit your team picture if you want to. You can edit the member permissions. Um, by default, all of these options are turned on. Uh, so you would have to go into these settings in order to change them, to restrict how people use Teams. So you can turn things off like creating and updating channels or uh, deleting or restoring channels or removing apps or adding apps. If you don't want members to delete their message, this has actually come up as a issue with some of the people that we've gone on site with. So by unchecking that box, people cannot delete their messages um, or edit their messages either. So everything will be as written originally. And if you don't want your team members to be able to do anything, you can select the circle for only owners can post messages. That way it becomes more like a message board that people can't do anything with. I don't know, it's kind of, it kind of goes against the idea of teams. And the last thing I wanted to show everyone here is what happens if you do allow people to create channels in your team. Um, let's say that they go ahead and they delete a channel, meaning that they've deleted the conversations and they've also deleted the uh, way to get to the files of the channel. So that's okay um, because you can always restore things in Office 365. So if someone, if a rogue employee or maybe just an employee who wasn't paying attention deletes a channel, they themselves can restore it or you as the owner can restore it by going to the manage team channel again, click on channels and then you see that there's a deleted section here and then all we have to do is re to recover it is click on it and we restore it. Uh, one other thing to say about deleted channels is that it basically remo removes the view and the conversations, uh, but you can still access the file structure in SharePoint because it only really removes it, the conversations and uh, the view from Teams, but go to your files and say open in SharePoint and then we see that the deleted file is still there. So no big deal. And if that gets deleted, I'm going to go one step further. You can restore that deleted folder or files inside of the deleted folder by just going to the recycling bin and you'll be able to restore those. So there you go. That is how you manage your team. Feel free to implement any of these fun features or actually they're not really they're taking away the fun if you ask me but if you're worried about your team going uh, off the rails then you know you could start off by having everything turned off and then slowly roll it out that would be another way to use teams although the way we use teams was we just let people go at it whole hog and that seemed to work out for our company but not everyone's like our company 
Are they max? No. All right, thank you. Hey everybody, if you like our content, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also click on the notification bell to get notified every time that we post a new video, which we do quite often. Um, also, don't forget to visit our website at protectedtrust.com to see the full range of solutions that we offer. Thanks, everyone.